Hello and welcome back to Legend of Valeria Early Access with me, Barden. Okay, so we are doing this video because the world management is now available in the Early Access rather than the beta where we looked at it previously. And the developer asked me to do maybe a, kind of around a 10 minute-ish video on it. So that's obviously a lot shorter than I normally do. So we're not going to kind of go into as much depth as nor maybe I normally would when I'm, I'm, I'm chatting with you guys. So first thing to address is the FPS. So we're getting about 20 FPS, which isn't bad here, especially for me. People who've watched before know that I've had problems with this game um, with the FPS. And part of that is definitely due to my machine being an older machine. And the other part then is just you know, there's optimization obviously to be done in the game. Um, so let's leave that there for now. But having said that, if you if you got a, a more modern PC, you're probably going to be fine. And you can see as soon as I come out here, I'm having issues with the FPS. Right. So we got we got a dude there who at some stage will be some kind of um, interactable guy, I'm sure. And then if you go further in, over kind of over there where the cursor is pointing the advisor and all the kind of guys are there but at the moment i can't interact with them so then we've got new people who've been added in as well who are around the place so at the moment they're just kind of uh populating the area rather than being uh people you can interact with i hope at some stage in the future you can interact with them we're heading to the portal so you can kind of see the route that i took to get here we've got again more guards around here and we're going to go through the portal. So we're going from Mara, which is the world that that kind of this society started in. And we're going to Ilaria, which is the world where we're kind of migrating to because of wars and catastrophes that happened on a home world. So what I want to do today is just quickly show you the world map and kind of give a little bit of an overview of that. Obviously you can't go into too much depth into anything. Um, but here we are here. So we're on this map here. If we run, if we choose the direction and run in that, you just keep running straight. It's going to bring us to the overall world map um, because the game is now kind of divided into small sections in terms of the, the Play, or the roamable area, should I say. So let's just go straight to that map, okay? So if we hit spacebar, it then selects us. So this is us here. You can see that this is the portal that we came through from Mara. And then this is the map of Valeria. So we got a fog of war over a lot of the, the area. You can see that this number above us tells you what our strength is. So as we add, um, as we add people to our retinue, um, we'll get stronger. But then you can look at these guys here. They, their strength is 397. So if we went into a fight with them. We could either fight them kind of automatically, like let the game resolve it, or we could go in and fight it. But either way, we're going to get our ass kicked. Um, then over here, we have our um, settlement. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to choose the settlement. We're not going to go there directly what we're going to do is instead we are going to use these resources that you can see up here in the top left um to make some changes so what i want to do is so we've got houses and we've got um farms so a house costs um 50 gold and 20 wood so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to move on the time here and you can see that our resources are slowly building up there as the days tick by. So what I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna build up to five houses and then I'm gonna build, so you can see four or five houses, we can get um, three farms. Then we're gonna recruit some soldiers. So at the moment we can only recruit militia, but in the future, we're gonna be able to have soldiers and archers and possibly, I guess, mages as well. But I haven't seen mages recruitable, um, but maybe that's going to be something in the future. So then you can see now the strength of resentment is 70 because we have seven militia 
and they're obviously 10 strength each. Okay. And then if we look here, um, we have enough to build a house ourselves, which is something that I want to do because what I want to do is we're going to go here and then I'm going to, just going to quickly show you how to, so that was one way of building just using the menu It's nice and quick. And if, if you're not into the building side of things, but you'd need that to generate your resources to be able to build your army and do other things. then obviously you, you need to, to be able to do that. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here. Okay. So here we are. We're going to hit T to get the tactical view. Something I like about the tactical view is that it's much lighter. I don't like that though. Where are we? I'm not sure where we are. Uh, let's move around a bit though. Okay, there we are over there. Okay. So, I want to build a new house. So, we're going to hit build. And I'm waiting for a response here though. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we have four things available to us in terms of the build menu. You have civic, military, small props, large props. So the props we'll quickly have a look at, but they're basically just, if, if you want your place to look a certain way, they're, they're what to say, they're props. They don't have a function in the game other than basically an aesthetic. Uh, then we have military. So the military, you've got your barracks and your blacksmiths. Um, which are going to help you to recruit the soldiers and the archers that we talked about. Blacksmith is going to uh, allow you to um, get better, better equipment for you guys. Then civic side of things, we have the the farm, the houses and the farms, which drive your economy. That that's what's generating the resources that um, we get when we move time on. And then the the market and the tavern are like multipliers for that, where they're, they're going to make that snowball for you. So, so they're important too. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to build a house. So let's click on house. Okay. And we'll find somewhere. Oh, okay. So we can just put it there right next to that one. And then you can see that it'll, it, it'll come up like this, where it's kind of a building site. And then over time that will get built. So you could, you could sit there and you could watch the guys build it if you want to do. But what we're going to do is we don't have that much time. So we're going to leave here and we're going to move on. And then I just want to show you a little bit about the movement on the map. So we moved over here. Um, we don't have time to go exploring in a lot of areas. So what I want to do instead is I want to come and see this gold bar. I want to see what that is. So we're going to hit this boot here and go to that location. I could have taken soldiers from the, the city if I wanted to, but at the moment I, I want those there. I want those sitting there just to kind of protect it. And also that I don't want to bring them out and lose them after having um, spent resources to get them. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop in here. I believe this is a cave. It is. So we're not going to do the whole cave because I don't have time to do that. So we're just going to take out our equipment. Okay. And this is a bit weird. So I'm pressing or right. And you can see that I've already got my stuff equipped down below. If I press one and two, I put it on. There we go. But I'd rather have like a default, like when you press or that it goes to whatever is in your one and your two slot rather than having to put those on. But you know, th that's not a terrible thing. Now let's get going. You can see that straight away, the frame rate is much better. So if you're, if you're, uh, maybe have a newer machine and the areas where I was getting less than 10 frames per second, maybe you're going to get somewhere around 20 or more. And then when you come into the cave, you're probably going to get your full 60 or whatever it is that you want. So let's have a go at these goblins. So let's block this guy first and then have a smack at him. Okay. And the AI is a bit better because 
before they used to just kind of stand like just stand there and let you wail on them but you can see they, they kind of when they take damage they'll back off and you can see one of the guys is actually trying to to get around trying to circle around and flank me now let's deal with this guy as well Oh, he got stuck in the wall, though. Okay, I think he's dead. We're going to leave it there. That's the end of our quick look at the world management early access. As you can see, the guys have made a lot of progress. There's still lots of work to do, but they're definitely moving in the right direction. So if you're interested in the game, go check it out on Steam. Go check out some other videos on YouTube that either I've done or other people have done. Uh, to get a bit of more of an impression on the game and with that in mind i'm go i will be doing longer videos i i like the longer video format myself because it just gives me more time to kind of prattle along but that's it from now i hope you have enjoyed this video and hope to see you again on another one goodbye i hope you enjoyed this video if you did maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right or checking out some other videos here on the left or perhaps you might even share with some friends.